Well, ladies, welcome to day two. We're in John chapter 20, and this is a chapter of the resurrection. This is yes. the culmination mm -hmm. of what we've been working toward all these weeks. And today yes. we see one of the first of several personal interactions of the resurrected Jesus with one of his disciples. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, and I love this. Ashrita, I mean, we see, okay, here's Mary. Dear Mary, she's... Mm. She's beside herself. Yeah. She's outside of the tomb weeping. Why? We talked about yesterday. She thinks someone has taken his body, um, and she doesn't know where it is. And so we see in verse 11, weeping. She wept. Uh, verse 13, weeping. 15, mm -hmm. woman, why are you weeping? She's asked twice. And then all of a sudden, Jesus says her name. Mm. I don't know. There was something about this chapter that just caused me to, maybe it's because we have slowed down to really look at the details and maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe I've slowed down enough to uh, put myself in their shoes mm. or to look at it with fresh eyes yeah. and to say, wow. I mean, did her heart just skip a beat at that moment? You know what I mean? Yeah. I think of that verse um, where Jesus says, I'm the good shepherd. Mm. The good shepherd knows his sheep. He does. Um, and he calls them by name, and we see that here. So, Absolutely. yeah, just, just putting yourself in her shoes, like, what would that be like? Mm -hmm. You're distraught mm -hmm. and despair, mm -hmm. and you hear him say your name. That's going to make me cry. <laughs> Even now, hmm. yeah. Anything stand out to you in this particular day? Yeah, I mean, I, I do. So two things with that. One is where Jesus makes it personal, right? So I am ascending to my Father and your Father, my mm -hmm. God and your God. Mm -hmm. um, and there's, there's that personal interaction again. And the transformation we see in Mary as she goes from being weeping and being distraught Mm -hmm. to verse 18. So Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. Yes. And so we see this bold witness uh, that the transformation is night and day mm -hmm. in her life. Mm -hmm. um, and also, like, I, you might have heard this before, but I can't help but point out, like, Jesus, his first appearance is to a woman. Mm -hmm. um, in first century, putting on this first century glasses, women weren't even allowed to testify That's in court. That's right. That's exactly right. Um, yeah. And so the disciples would have good reason to question and, mm -hmm. oh, you know, you're you're emotional. You don't know what mm -hmm. you've seen. And yet mm -hmm. Jesus chooses a woman intentionally Love to that. be the first one. Thank you for reminding us of that to Aishrita. You know, one more thing uh, from this chapter that stood out to me to as we're talking is just she's asked twice whom do you seek hmm. and you know I feel like in my own life God continues to like I put God when we probably have talked about this before putting God in this box mm -hmm. of who he is and no hmm. whom whom do you seek look seek a little bigger yeah. here Mary you know yeah. Yeah. I'm the resurrection and the life. Like he, he That's right. blows up her understanding of who he is. Absolutely. I yes, love that. I do too. Uh, well, as you look at day two at Mary Magdalene and her personal interaction with Jesus, her transformation to belief, mm -hmm. um, what are some things that have stood out to you? We would love to hear that and, and unpack that more in the comments. Mm -hmm.